basic idea is that a worker who might, say, take a construction worker who basically, uh, if you do road construction, you in, if you live in the northern half of the United States, you, you don't work year-round. You, you work on a project for one year, and then the next year you go to wherever there is another project. So that might be for the same construction company. It might be for a different construction company. So the basic idea is that as a worker, um, as long as you're working in the same area and working with the same union, your job doesn't dictate which pension plan you're in. Your pension plan goes with you from, from job to job. So that's the, the basic idea of a, of a multi-employer plan. And they're treated separately from corporate plans um, in terms of funding rules and management, general management rules, as well as um, the guarantees that are available through the, the the federal government. We've identified 115 plans that are likely to run out of assets, completely exhaust their assets within the next 20 years. And we know that this is a hot topic in um, Congress. And in fact, both houses of Congress have created a joint select special committee or something of, of that nature, um, specifically to study this issue. So we wanted to be able to inform that conversation about this, the current state of multi-employer plans. There are a number of multi-employer pension plans. Uh, most of, most multi-employer pension plans, by the way, are in fine, they're, they're in, they're in fine shape. They're moving right along and Life, life is, is fine. We wanted to be able to provide a voice from the profession and a neutral voice. Um, we, we are not looking at any proposed solutions. We're not taking any stances on any ideas um, that have been floated out there. We're simply looking at if things stay the way they are, what, what do we think that is going to happen. And, and we know that Congress is interested in that. And we know that they have a lot of information from a lot of different sources.